AGA Key Pro recorders are designed to meet the high demands of video recording, monitoring, and playback in a professional setting. And with support for various resolutions and formats, including ProRes and DNX HD, these recorders deliver great video quality for all your production needs. And of course, you can control them from your favorite Skahoy product. And I'll show you how in this video. This is an Airfly Pro, one of our top selling switching panels. This is a time spin for replay control. And on a panel like this one, if you look at the web UI of it, you'll see that it is connected to these two recorders, the ADA Key Pro Go and the Key Pro Ultra 12G, the two recorders we have brought into the studio today. It's also connected to an ATEM Constellation switcher because that is apparently the main application of this panel that we are doing video switching, preview, program bus, management of transition types and keyers and stills and um, uh, keyers over here, cut, auto, all those things. But up here in the top, we have a little menu where apart from four buttons assigned to features, basically what happens uh, here, um, you basically select whether you do ME or macros or audio on these uh, buttons. There are also two buttons associated with what we call quick classes. If you look at the web UI, you see those quick classes are like things like plugins, configurations that will do stuff with other devices like auxiliary utility configurations that we add in. We have added two, that is KeyPro Go and KeyPro Ultra 12G. They are accessible right here. So if I press this button, those six keys are now, because of that configuration, taken over to control the KeyPro Go, the top one of these two. Let's try it out. Now, if you, uh, and let's just follow along on the web UI here. What you see here is the web UI of the KeyPro Go. So if I press record, you'll see that it starts recording. And I can, of course, stop as well, but now I just want it to record a little bit. So while it is recording, we can, uh, you can also see the counters following along here on the play button, but let's just explore the menu because this button over here is essentially cycling through four different menus. The home menu is this one where you find the, the most essential things. Then if we go into the clip menu, you can control looping on and off. You can also control the type of timecode value. You can also cycle through the clips because multiple clips will get recorded. That is basically the, the playlist that you see uh, right there. And if you go into settings, there'll be settings like uh, which media uh, state that you are in, uh, which channel are we um, um, using because it has four channels and channel number one is the one we're using right now it's enabled um, and then if you go onto channel two three and four you can see those are disabled today and then we have presets we can recall presets are those that you find uh, no wait we'll not stop recording we want to do that ourselves so we go in here and press the stop button so okay now we recorded we stopped again and we would be able to actually play back if we press that button but now that we looked into this menu let's just explore it for a moment we can uh, turn looping on and off if we find uh, or look for looping and now i'm sort of on thin ice because i'm not 100 percent sure on where we have looping uh, found inside of the oh loop playback yes so if i turn it off you see that playback is uh, looping playback is turned off and we can turn it on again here and it is reflected over here. So there's also synchronicity between the settings of the two devices as we usually do when we make integration with devices. We, we talk to them. We actually read their state out so that you see the correct state here, which would be very, very important when you do recording, right? You want to see that it is actually recording. So if I start recording on the device, yes, it is also reflected here on that button. Alrighty. What about the other device? If we want to control the Ultra 12G, what we'll do is to exit this one by holding down the shift key, go back, select the uh, Ultra 12G, and inside of this one, we can also start recording. So now you'll see the Ultra um, 12G is recording. We can stop it again. We can play it back. We can fast forward. We can fast reverse. We can also turn on and off looping and all those wonderful things. So it is essentially the same kind of navigation and feature set that you find in these two up here. Now, um, if we go back to the settings page here, you will see that these two quick classes, they, that, there's actually a little feature I want to show you, which is pretty cool. So if I open up the list view of this one, you see the two quick classes that we have added are shown right here. But what I will do now is to make one quick class control both devices at the same time. 
All right, so I will just delete this row. And then inside of this field, I think I can type in one comma two, or like that. Okay. So actually by setting device ID one and two here, I am addressing both these devices. You notice that they have IDs. This is device ID one, device ID two. And now that is also in the menu only one. So maybe if I want it to be a little cleaner, I could just call it ADA key pro and no further like that. Okay. So I go in here, I start recording by pressing that button and you see both devices are actually recording right now. Let's just check it out. The key pro go, the ultra 12 G, I stop it. The ultra 12 G stopped the key pro go stopped as well. So that feature is pretty cool and something that is sort of built into React so that anywhere you're using IDs, it is at least very likely that you can actually use multiple IDs addressing multiple devices. And we use that in different ways. This system is insanely configurable and yet it is really, really easy to work with when it comes to all the basics. Like you see, we have a perfect switching panel just by selecting a configuration for Airfly Pro with ATEM. It could have been KROS, Barco, Livestream Studio, ROS Talk, TriCaster, VMix, etc. But just picking that one and I'm immediately controlling my ATEM switcher. Adding devices is done by this button. You can discover them on your network or you can add them manually here. Doesn't matter. And you can even add control of other panels. So this connection to these two can also be utilized by another controller. And we'll do that right now. So I'll just set this one aside and then take the Time Spin Pro uh, or the Time Spin into the view here. Now. On this one, I am I have set it up to control the um, uh, Ultra 12G. And again, we have the same features you have just seen. So we have play up here and I'm now uh, basically playing back on the um, uh, Ultra 12G. You can also see that I've set if I hold down this uh, shift key, there's like a shuttle uh, range. So I can uh, cycle through different like max speeds for shuttling uh, here. Uh, one really cool thing, and of course this is sort of relevant when you think about it now, we have this jog wheel, so you can see on the video output of it, and let's look in the web UI, I am able to jog through individual frames quite easily using this wheel. I can also use it to jog forth and back in the material by using the uh, shuttle function. And of course there's the T-bar, which you can use for either enabling playback, which is what it's set to right now, or you can use it to get really slow motion from the footage on the Key Pro Ultra HD. So this replay panel is of course designed for uh, more like replay applications. It has also, if you look at the configurations of it, a, a good number of uh, configurations. It is uh, very popular with vMix, extremely popular here, where it has very, very powerful configuration. And then as well for DreamChip SSM 500 replay, which is a slow-mo camera that records up to 500 frames per second. And then we also have this Key Pro Ultra uh, configuration you can use. On the time spin, you can also navigate through your playlist. On the Airfly Pro, we had a button with edge detection capabilities. So if you press the left and the right edge, you could go through your playlist. Here we have assigned individual buttons to go up and down through these lists. Find the clip you want to play and you can press the playback button on the controller or you can jog through the clip if you want to get a frame accurate starting point. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. We also welcome questions and comments, so feel free to leave them below or connect with us on Facebook, Instagram or X. You can also always reach out to us via email at sales at skahoy.com or support at skahoy.com. We're always here to help and we look forward to assisting you.